Greetings fellow Final Fantasy 7 fans, Fuzzfinger here, and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to use a levelling trick on disc 1 to gain an extra 10 to 15 levels really quite quickly. If you want to find out how, stay tuned. First things first then for this trick, you're going to want to learn the enemy skills that I showed you how to learn in the previous episode of this series, so check out the uh, playlist to find that video on enemy skills if you haven't done that already. And once you've got those enemy skills, you'll be ready to take on the relatively tough monsters actually, that we're going to need in order to get that experience that we want to level up with. The reason why the monsters are going to be tough is because you shouldn't actually be engaging with them until around about the middle of disc 2. So you're going to want to do this trick as early on as possible to really maximise the amount of experience that you can get. So basically, here's how I generally do it. I will play the story up until the Gold Saucer, where you recruit Kate Sith and Barrett fights Dine, and you go through all that section, but then when you come back out and can access the buggy, then I go and learn the enemy skills, which again is the previous video, so check that out. And then I come and do this levelling trick and gain an extra 10 to 15 levels. And it really helps out then with the rest of the playthrough in my opinion, because it just gives you that bit of boost you need to tackle some of the tougher bosses that you have coming up. Especially bosses like Demon Wall and Lost Number. So what you want to do in order to find the enemies that you need to kill, is make your way back to Junon. And once you're back in June, I'm heading to the main city and just run through it. So this section I'm running through now is the important part. We'll come back to this in a moment, but first I'm going to run all the way through because there's a save point we can use just on the other side in one of the buildings. And if the worst comes to the worst and we die, then we can use this save point to restart. But also, once we do a few battles, we do need to come back and save just in case anything happens after we've already made some progress. So as you start to level up a bit and these battles become a bit easier, wrong building there, sorry, uh, you can save less often. But to begin with, I do recommend saving every, you know, couple of levels that you gain or so. You can also use the inn found within Junon when you need to heal to save using tents, especially as you start to run out of MP. But once you're saved up, you want to head back into this previous tunnel area that we just ran through. And there's no enemy spawns here yet, but if you head up to here where the guards are practicing, you can see there's an alarm on the wall. If you activate this alarm, you're then going to get random enemy encounters with enemies that, as I say, you wouldn't normally be fighting at this point in the game. You can get the machine gun style enemies, and you can get these kind of red critter things that appear in uh, twos or threes. Now, the best group to fight is the group that appears in threes because they give you 2,100 experience per character per battle. Since the battles, as I say, can be tough, you'll have to make use of those enemy skills that we've just collected, actually, haven't we? So we can actually put them to use immediately. Big Guard, obviously very important, practically reduces all damage by half. You can even use Manipulate if you want to, if you struggle with facing three of these things at once. This basically knocks one out of the battle. Laser is good because these aren't boss enemies, but they do have high amounts of health. Especially on the machine gun enemy, laser reduces their maximum health by, sorry, their current health by half. And if you cast that a couple of times, then you can finish them off. And then, of course, you've got Aqualung as well, a massive AoE damage ability, which is very powerful on groups of enemies such as these. So there we go, just spend as much time here farming as you want. As I say, remember to head back Use the inn, use the save point, get healed, keep your progress, and basically just enjoy the levels. You can easily get to the 30s uh, before leaving this little levelling section, and then you can storm the rest of the disc. And not only that, but you get some nice amounts of gill as well by farming these enemies. So that's also a bonus that you might want to uh, consider. But that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in this episode. I hope it's going to help you in your journey through the game. And if it does, please let me know in the comments section. I always appreciate your support. And please do go ahead and hit the like button as well. And come back soon and we'll have some more Final Fantasy VII tips for you. Until then guys, take care. Goodbye.